Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but... Can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off.
sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are part of the many stunts accomplished by the leaf suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the leaf suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them.
Company calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Susurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Susurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, that they predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over. They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with.
clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. Astrologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard, anyways. 